Scallop Festival, held each year at New Bedford, Massachusetts, attracts 30,000 visitors. To them, whether you call it scallop or scallop, this succulent shellfish by any name would taste as sweet. From huge mixing and cooking kettles, over three tons of fresh scallops are served. With the scallop as honored host, there's a jubilee atmosphere for three days with parades, music, a recipe contest, and the crowning of a scallop queen to reign over the festivities. And yet, despite its booming popularity, most of us know very little about this marine delicacy. Operating from Woods Hole, Massachusetts, scientists aboard the research vessel Albatross conduct studies of the sea and its life including research on the scallop by teams from the Bureau of Commercial Fisheries. Cooperating closely with commercial fishermen to improve the quality and quantity of the catch, they also conduct studies under the controlled environment of the aquarium. One of their prime concerns is increasing the scallop yield to meet the rising market demand. The general term scallop applies to about 300 different shellfish living in temperate seas around the world. Our story concerns the one found off the North American coast, the one marine biologists call Placopecton magellanicus. But we simple people call it deep sea scallop, ocean scallop, or just plain scallop. Actually, the scallop is a sea animal of the mollusk family. Because of its two shells, or valves, it belongs to the large bivalve subgroup, including the common edible mollusks, the soft clam, the hard clam, and the oyster. But here, the similarity ends. It is well equipped with sensory organs. For example, the adult scallop has about 200 eyes roughly the size of pinheads, they occur in an irregular pattern just inside the open edge of the shell. Each has a lens, retina, and an optic nerve. Though these cannot perceive images, they can detect the motion of other animals in the water around them. In this simple experiment, notice the reaction as a card is passed by the scallop. Along the edge of the scallop's mantle are additional sentries in the form of waving tentacles. Constantly in motion, they are tactile, sensitive to touch, and give warning of changes in environment, as in the accidental encounter you're about to see. The starfish, inching slowly along, comes within range of these waving tentacles, and whoosh, the disturbed scallop scurries away to a new resting place. Quite an accomplished swimmer, the scallop has a style all its own. Three margins of the shell. The shell then snaps shut, forcing the water out through openings at either side of the hinge. In effect, these openings then become jet nozzles, and the scallop darts in the opposite direction from that taken by the expelled water. Jet propulsion in its purest form. The power is supplied by the adductor muscle, the part we eat. as microscopic eggs, these two to three month old baby scallops, called spat, are still so tiny they're hard to see. But a giant close-up of one of them reveals that while dwarfed by the postage stamp, it's already a miniature of the adult. Actually, the scallop is an animal which lives in a shell. As it grows, the scallop lays down new shell to accommodate its increasing size. Growth is fast in summer, slower in winter, during which a visible ring is formed on the shell. So we determine the age of scallops, like trees, simply by counting their rings. This scallop, one of the largest ever seen, 
wears 12 such rings, so we can spot its age easily at 12 years. Nature paints scallop shells in a variety of colors and patterns, no two alike. These scallops, whose private lives we've invaded at Woods Hole, really aren't far from home. They're found in one of the world's richest beds, George's Bank, 175 miles off the New England coast. Here, the scallops lie in cold water beds about 300 feet down. Collecting the scallop harvest are two similar fleets, totaling some 100 vessels. One fleet based in Nova Scotian ports, the other at New Bedford, Massachusetts. Roughly the same distance is traveled by the Canadian and U.S. boats to reach the bank. One of these boats, the Explorer, is about to leave for the bank. 